Hello, and here we are once again at Peter's Marine Service. I'm your host, Ted, and today we have a 2003 Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck. This is indeed one of Sea Ray's most popular models over the years. Uh, it is so because it's got so much capability, both inside and on the water. Uh, nice 24-foot frame is a full 24-foot boat. The platform on the back makes it 26, so you've got a lot of space once we get inside. Uh, this boat is, uh, you can see it has the two-tone black and white. A couple of scratches around the deck here, but overall the boat looks really good. When we get inside, you'll see the condition inside is very good as well. Docking lights put inside the boat here. It's sitting on a galvanized roller trailer with brakes on both axles and a spare wheel and tire right there as well. As we come down the side of the boat here, you can see about as far as the length goes, a lot of boat here. Just a few few little scratches in here, they can easily be taken care of, but for the most part the boat's in nice shape. As I said, it has the extended swim platform off the back, Bravo 3 outdrive, prop, uh, prop spin in opposite directions. That gives the boat a lot of lift up and out of the water, so when you start loading the boat up with lots of people, you can still go skiing behind it also. Trim tabs help in that regard as well. But the, you notice here the swim platform, nice and large, ladder goes very deep down into the water, so if you're playing out behind the boat, uh, anchored in a cove somewhere, very easy to get in and out of uh, the lake back into the boat. And I'll show you that right here. Once on the back here you see stainless steel handle with built-in ski toe eye right here as well. Getting the, into the boat's very easy. You notice that we have this nice transom door, so if you have children that happen to come along with you, you can easily keep this closed and keep the kids inside the boat. And that opens up and is held in place with that little strap there. But the layout in this boat is just so nice. It's very convenient to take a lot of people on board. Notice we have back to, uh, bucket seats on both sides with the flip-up riser. Nice lounger seating all the way around. You can easily sit one, two, three, four, five people around the whole back here. So it's very nice. The condition of the vinyl is in very good condition also. I don't see, I don't see staining. I don't see cuts with one exception, one little nick right here. But as I said about the gel coat on the outside, all this could easily be taken care of and you have yourself a, a wonderful boat. The tables are removable and they stow nicely inside this compartment down here. They fit on a rack right down inside and then this can stow away as well. So you see everything can easily tuck away in the boat. A sink here with sprayer. Plenty of grab handles on board the boat also, but lots of room. You kind of get an idea of the amount of space here. Plus your ski storage is incredibly deep. It goes way down inside there, so you got plenty of room to put extra skis, life jackets, wakeboards, uh, extra tubes that you take along. Everything can neatly fit down in there. At the helm, notice the flip-up riser makes it real nice for taking a commanding look up over the windshield here. So if you're going into some congested area or if you want to see better for pulling skiers, you can easily use it as a leaning post and sit up nice and tall. Tilt steering wheel makes it comfortable also. Uh, this boat's equipped with smart craft instrumentation, which is located here. Uh, all your gauges are right here, easy to read. Remote control for the stereo, trim tabs, all that at your fingertips right here. Even the switch for the docking lights is right up here as well. But with the seat down, plenty of support up underneath the legs. So it's real easy to get comfortable behind the helm of the boat. Also included is a compass and a windshield wiper up there on the front. What makes this boat popular as well is the capability that once you're out on the water for the afternoon, you can stay out on the water portable head located inside the compartment here. Plus there's a, a wash down sink and storage in there also. It's plenty deep enough if you wanted to use it as a changing room that could be accomplished too. Up inside the bow area we have a nice cut off so if you wanted to keep the breeze out of the rest of the cockpit of the boat, say it's a cooler morning that you're going out, you can easily do that by closing the door, keep the wind from barreling through the cockpit Yet the brave ones could still sit up here. Plenty of room to do that. This compartment in here is nice. Again, I have the bow cover and cockpit cover stowed in here. Plus, there's plenty of room for other things also. Even a cooler would neatly fit on the track that's inside there. 
In here as well is also a location for your fuse panel and the AM FM CD player is located here as well also. In the bow, the pictures I have, I, I've noted the filler cushions fill right inside here so you can turn this into one big sun pad up here in the front. But this is what really makes the sun decks different than a lot of other boats is the amount of room that you have up here. I mean, you can easily sit six adults around the front of this boat here. Plenty of room to do so and you have a table here as well. The lounger seating, very comfortable. With the grab handle here, it's very comfortable to get uh, to situate yourself if you're uh, traveling. You can easily sit up here and be comfortable. Cup holders also, real easy to get to. There's also storage. For time's sake, I won't point it out too much here, but there's storage underneath this compartment also for, for more room to put things. As before, these tables easily can be removed. And tons of storage in here too. That's where I have the filler cushion tucked in there. And on this side, plenty of depth, plenty of room to put things down inside. Nice compartment and it's, uh, it's got some carpeting in there to keep things from kind of making noise and jumping around on you. Also is a cooler up here in the front that's located here. A forward pull out sprayer is located oh. here. So if you happen to beach the boat at your favorite location, there's a ladder comes out the front and drops down off the front of the boat for easy entry back into the boat. And when your guests do that, they can hose the sand off their feet with the sprayer right here. Nice feature. This boat's powered by a 5.0 liter Mer Cruiser, 260 horsepower, and as I mentioned with the Bravo 3 outdrive. Uh, certainly enough power for doing the activities that you'd probably expect out of a boat like this. Put, taking your friends along and pulling people on skis and tubes. This is the 240 Sun Deck by Sea Ray, 2003 model. Very good condition, uh, save for a few things that I've mentioned, but boat shows really well. Certainly worth taking a look at. I'm your host, Ted. If you have any more questions, please either give us a call or look us up at petersmarine.com. Thank you very much for watching. It was a pleasure showing you this boat today.